I've been asked to preach on uh, Mark's gospel, and I'm going to preach uh, Mark 1, 21 to 22 from the New Living Translation. My name is Mark, and I'm a member of Christ Central. I've been a member of Christ Central for almost 25 years, so yeah, quite a long time. Uh, the reason I chose the New Living Translation is because I think the text actually gives a much better definition of what happened here. So Jesus and his companions went to the town of Capernaum. When the Sabbath day came, he went to the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with real authority, quite unlike the teachers of religious law. Now, I was a little bit stumped when I just read these two passages as to exactly what I was going to say. So I, I did a bit of research. And to put this into context, Capernaum was an important town on a trade route. It's located on the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee. So given it's a trade route, there would be both Jews and Gentiles there. And each of those sets of people would get an opportunity to hear Jesus speak and possibly bump into Jesus. Um, this is the Sabbath, which is the Jewish day of rest. And so this is from sunset on Friday until sunset on Saturday. And on the Sabbath, the people would gather in their meeting place or synagogue in order to pray and to study the Bible, uh, what we would call the Old Testament in this case. And much of what they would look at would be the first five books or the Torah, which means law. So this would be where they would actually do their Bible studies and get an understanding of what the religious law was. And that's why it says uh, that, that Jesus spoke with real authority, quite unlike teachers of the religious law, because at that time they would be expecting to hear somebody giving the law and also giving some definition of the law. Now, at that time, there was never a permanent teacher in the synagogue. So therefore, Jesus was actually able to actually go and teach. And the teachers that would normally be in the synagogue would normally be providing opinions of well-known teachers of the law. And as such, they would often give multiple opinions so that the people wouldn't actually really receive very satisfactory answers to any questions. It would always just be the opinions of somebody else. And I guess that's probably because at that time, there wasn't really any sort of formal teaching. So when it says that uh, the people were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with real authority, Jesus is here actually speaking with the authority of God. And if you actually look at, at the Sermon on the Mount, uh, Matthew, he, he often refers to, I say this, or I do this, or I whatever. And I'll just read uh, Matthew 5.20. But I warn you, unless your righteousness is better than the righteousness of the teachers of the law and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. So that's just one particular thing from the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus is speaking with authority. And this is really where he's actually proclaiming that he is God. Um, and this is the first time that people will hear from Jesus of him preaching and proclaiming that he has authority that is coming from God. So this is really the first time that, uh, that Jesus teaches and is showing himself that he, he is very much one with God. Uh, Jesus knew the scriptures, he knew what they meant, and he spoke of his own authority here. Um, so there's not an awful lot more that I really wanted to say, because uh, there wasn't really an awful lot of meat there. But just to put this into context, um, we need to really look, look at this and think about the teachings that do come from Jesus and the fact that he has authority. And in fact, we we have been told by Jesus that with him leaving his Holy Spirit, that, that we have his authority here and that we should ourselves be in a situation where we can teach. Um, much like there's no permanent teacher, there is no permanent person that is actually teaching on this, on this particular devotional morning devotional lever. So I think we should be encouraged that each of us should be in a position to come along 
uh, and actually preach on God's word or at least in part what what the words mean but the fact that Jesus has authority I'm actually going to be doing the morning devotion devotional tomorrow and what I'll be speaking about tomorrow actually shows some significant authority that Jesus had when he was in the synagogue which is probably the reason why the people were amazed. <laughs> so I think the amazement will really come tomorrow when I come to unpack that. So I wonder if we could maybe discuss the things from, from, from these very sort of brief uh, couple of verses, uh, uh, what, what actually hit us and uh, yeah, what, what we might take from them. Sorry, it's a bit short today, but uh, I say it's a it's a quite a brief passage, and tomorrow is a more significant passage, and it's more significant in many ways. And I say it's probably the reason why uh, the people were amazed, rather than necessarily just Jesus's teaching. So I don't know if we might uh, we might finish at that, and you're happy with that. <laughs>